All right, guys. Um, let's get started um, with the multifamily market update. Um, welcome, uh, everyone uh, that's attending. Uh, I see we have a uh, pretty good crowd here. It looks like uh, we have Allison in the room. Always good to always good to see you, Allison. Good afternoon. Uh, we'll uh, check in with you a little bit later on in the in the session. Um, I want to start off with uh, Drew Heitzman, um, our director of market analytics. Give us a little bit. Uh, tell us a little bit about what you're seeing in the capital markets. And uh, we'll go from there. Appreciate it, Tony. Would you be able to uh, pass me over the screen sharing capabilities? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Give me one second here. There we go. OK, you should be ready to go, Drew. Thanks okay. a lot, Drew. Appreciate it. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Drew Heitzman speaking. And in terms of the 10-year treasury, it's been quite a volatile week. Um, so last Wednesday, the Fed met to discuss whether they will increase rates. And um, it turns out they continue to reiterate that inflation is transitory. And they're not seeking to increase short-term rates until 2023. And this led to the 10-year increasing last Wednesday, 11 basis points from 1.48 to a high of 1.59, for some reason saying 5.6 up here. But with that said, it uh, dropped another 11 basis points and it's currently sitting at 1.47. Since then, uh, the St. Louis Fed president stated that he believes interest rates will increase sooner rather than later in 2022. And another thing to, another interesting caveat of that we'll is more, uh, investors in the stock market have been pushing money into REITs and other real estate related investments as a hedge against inflation. So it's been a lot of back and forth in terms of professional traders and what the Fed's saying in terms of inflation. But right now the rate is at a three month interesting and something to keep an eye on moving forward so i appreciate that awesome thanks thanks for sharing that so it looks like ultimately the treasury is at a, a three three month low uh however uh the fed uh is tossing around the uh i word at some point there you kind of uh uh, connection got bad, but I, I got the gist of it. Thanks, thanks for sharing that, uh, Drew. Uh, Vince, uh, our director of acquisitions, uh, dealing with a lot of uh, in-state, local, national, and even international buyers, uh, looking at the Chicago market. What what are you seeing out there, uh, Vince? Uh, real quick. Yeah, and, and and thanks for tossing the ball to me there, Tony. We're seeing uh, a lot of investors coming from coastal areas very interested in the Chicago market just due to the sheer size of the metro area uh you know features like 22 fortune 500 companies holding their headquarters in the Chicago MSC uh, as well as 50 over 50 percent of the population being renters that actually is a statistic that Chicago is unique in with regards to the top 10 metro populated areas um, a lot of factors ensure that these renters won't be home buyers in the near future, uh, for better or for worse. Those factors include, you know, student debt and uh, things of that sort. So with those renters on average spending less than 20 percent of their income on rent, Chicago features itself as a top destination for transient workers. Um, it's very competitive in regards to people seeking high level employment that will be renters, you know, they want to have that mobility. So that makes uh, Chicago a top destination for investors. Uh, Business Insider rated Chicago as the top city uh, recently to purchase a rental property in. Um, you know, we've been speaking with a lot of investors regarding our current listings and opportunities. Right, um, um, 
including, you know, for example, the property on 7456 Let's South Eberhardt that we recently closed. You know, we um, got eight offers. Investors like those, investors Market. like many okay. others who pursue um, our current listings welcome, are pursuing uh, everyone, other acquisitions uh, uh, in this market. That's a tendon. Um, just a huge conduit of out of state investors. Have, uh, um, they're aware of the pipeline of talent. crowd here. It looks like uh, we have Allison um, as well. in the room. So, always good to, um, to tie that together. To you know, you, Allison. you know, with our 600 uh, we'll, market uh, centers nationwide, I've been having contacts with a lot of the, important in players in those. Um, and uh, we just have a hot, with, uh, hot Drew line Heitzman, of people trying to get into um, this market. director of and market analytics. Just trying tell to find the right bit, fit uh, tell us a in regards about to those investors. In capital markets. Um, you know, we hear and a lot coming out of the news there. locally, and we kind of get it, a kind of cabin fever in the Chicago you able market. To, uh, um, pass me over the screen. And out of state investors are, you know, taking advantage of those individuals who might want to make moves. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, that uh, interesting. Uh, you brought up seventy four fifty six Everhart. Um, it was an out of state investor. That was teaming up with a local team, local operator, local okay. property you should management be ready to company. Go, Drew. Uh, yeah. uh, Drew. Appreciate to, it. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. In, this in, is Drew Hartsman speaking. And, uh, and I feel in terms of tenure uh, treasury, it's been quite a volatile week. Uh, sometimes the local. Um, so last Wednesday, uh, the uh, Fed met to discuss pay, whether they will increase I don't want to pay rates. Up. And, and it's um, our job to make sure that they continue to reiterate that inflation is transitory. Uh, and they're not seeking years, to increase uh, short-term rates Sider, until 2023. And this led to the 10-year increasing last Wednesday, 11 basis points uh, and, uh, from 1.48 to a high of 1.59. Some of the same five, six up here. Sure that, but think, with that said, it uh, well. dropped another 11 basis points, and it's currently sitting at 1.47. Since then, uh, the St. Louis Allison, Fed president title. stated um, that he believes interest rates will increase always, uh, sooner rather than later in 2022. And, and another right. thing, too, are. another interesting caveat of that is uh, investors in the stock hired, market uh, have been pushing money into REITs and other real estate related investments as a hedge against inflation. So, so it's, uh, it's been a lot of back and forth in terms of professional um, traders and what the Fed's so saying in terms of inflation. But right now, the rate is at a three and month. residential um, experience. Um, so um, our um, things um, have picked um, up, which is good. Turn times are around five to six, and five something to seven that days. But with Vince and I on moving um, forward, so I appreciate that. Out of state investors, what I am seeing is. Since awesome. I am a national thanks, platform, thanks for sharing that. So it looks like ultimately the treasury is at a, a three, three month low. Uh, however, so uh, the Fed uh, the is tossing um, around. As we all know, the, uh, in the Chicago market, it, the title world there, is a wild, kinda, wild uh, west. Uh, and it is connection all over got the place. Bad, so those investors that are not familiar it. with the thanks, Chicago thanks market want to make sure uh, that they're set up Drew. with the best pricing. Uh, Vince, um, so uh, our director of acquisitions, uh, dealing with a lot of uh, in-state, local, national, to gain and international control over buyers. that. So uh, that's been kind Chicago of interesting. Market. Um, I am what, seeing a lot of people from out there, the outside uh, Vince, area wanting uh, to get quick. into the Chicago market as well. Yeah, and and, and thanks for tossing that the ball is, in there, Tony. The We're seeing a uh, a lot of awesome. investors thanks coming for, from coastal. Areas very interested in the Chicago the market uh, just that, due to the sheer size of the metro area. On, but before I do, uh, you know, features I like 22 uh, Fortune 500 companies holding their headquarters the in the Chicago MSE, uh, uh, as well as 50 over 50% of the population being there? renters. That Absolutely. actually is <clears> a statistic that Chicago uh, be is really unique quick. in. I uh, wanted to touch to on the Illinois Medical District populated and um, kind of share what um, we've been seeing over that in that area. Won't be home buyers um, in the near future. East Lake uh, Management uh, with LZ Higginbottom, they, include, you know, uh, some, some research came out and, uh, that they were able to secure so financing with those renters uh, for a project that on was spending less than 20% of their income And this address is 2050 West Ogden and it's right at the Top of destination and Damon, for transient and workers. And they're planning the 161 um, it's very competitive uh, unit in regards residential to building. Seeking high level and it's definitely going to benefit that will be the, the area. You know, they um, want to have that mobility, you know, especially for the, the medical so workers. So that makes uh, uh, Chicago a top destination and, uh, for investors. That are all uh, business insider in that area. Chicago is the and then on top of that, really close city, by, uh, uh, recently you, you to have purchase like Marquette, rental property in uh, companies who's um, a developer. And you know, we've been speaking with a lot of investors regarding our current listings and opportunities. 
um, a lot um, going on in Illinois medical you know, district. For example, and, uh, it's definitely the property on seventy four fifty six South um, Eberhard that we road. recently closed. You know, we got oh, eight so offers. Yeah, LZ, investors like those, investors like many others who pursued our current all, listings um, are pursuing other acquisitions uh, in this market. A lot of um, from the just a huge conduit of out-of-state uh, investors. Um, they're aware probably, of the pipeline of talent coming out of the universities as well. So um, to tie that together, you know, I believe they, uh, you know, with our 600 uh, marketing uh, centers nationwide, I've been having contacts with a lot of a lot important of players really, and those, really and uh, we just have a hot, a hot Cody line of people trying is, to get into this uh, market and uh, uh, you know, you got just to trying to find the right fit or, in regards to those um, investors. Um, about how, you know, we hear a lot uh, coming out of the news locally, value, and we're trying to get uh, a kind of cabin fever in the Chicago market. Um and out of state investors are, you know, taking advantage Nothing of those individuals who might want to make uh, moves. How about Kelly? Kelly. Awesome. Uh, Thanks for sharing that. Yeah, that's that, uh, interesting. Uh, you brought up 7456 Everhart. Sure. Um, Thanks, Tony. I do have an update on uh, some investment opportunities that we have with the multifamily investment advisor. Um, first uh, is to, a mixed-use uh, building in Hyde Park at 5228 South Blackstone. Uh, uh, this is a rare opportunity to acquire a trophy uh, wealth locals, preservation asset. Uh, uh, it is a mixed-use property in downtown Hyde Park. It's pay uh, 40 units. And it's our job it to make sure to long-term retail tenants, including market uh, Boston Market uh, as a uh, long-term uh, national South tenant in that, in that uh, uh, building. Um, so definitely reach out to us for more information on that asset. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, next up, we also have a, uh, a portfolio in the 100-unit count range. And um, this is an opportunity is. to pick up uh, sure 114 uh, units well. on the we south side. In it's a portfolio in uh, Brainerd here. and Chatham See, uh, neighborhoods. It has a low per unit those. price of Allison less than 60000 per uh, unit. What are you seeing out These combined always, portfolios uh, offer an opportunity for you, you to pick up a critical mass of assets within a few miles of each other with great wow. cash flow from day one. Uh, uh, for more information on these and other opportunities that we have, please reach out to the Multifamily um, Investment that, Advisor one of our closers. <laughs> at uh, investment so at uh, kwcommercial.com um, or space. by phone so at 312-863-8990. I will uh, include um, so the contact information in the chat in here. Thanks to you, Tony. Awesome. And also, days. can you put the, this, the website in there? Uh, you this can also find out more information about our team, what I am our company, and uh, investment in opportunities the all over the I'm city. Seeing a lot uh, visiting of investors us at reaching out to uh, me, uh, wanting to create Chicago Multifamily Investments. Dot com, Chicago Multifamily Investments. Dot That information will be in the chat. And uh, the, all over the place. Uh, Blackstone so property also that has a state the farm market, uh, in there, sure another national tenant, Betty O, long term um, state So I've been seeing a lot of that. They are putting um, and, uh, sewer title and uh, my name in those uh, LOIs. Uh, a recent to rehab elevator bill. So that. lots of opportunities. So that's been kind of interesting. Um, I am seeing a lot of people from the outside the area wanting to get into the market. 114 in the portfolio is over six buildings. Awesome. That is the time to talk. Awesome. Uh, also, Chicago has for, some bad press here over that. the weekend. I want to talk a, lot a little bit on. about some of the uh, points as, as uh, that, that, that the team um, has touched on. But before uh, I do, I want to see uh, if Jason um, has anything to uh, share about what's are, happening uh, in uh, I believe the highest vaccinated uh, rate city uh, among any of the major cities of large cities. And we Absolutely. Are Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, be really quick. I uh, wanted to touch on um, the Illinois Medical District and um, uh, kind of share what we've been seeing over in, in that area. Um, um, East Lake Management uh, with LZ Higginbottom, they uh, some some research uh, came out that they were able to secure financing. Uh, uh, for a project that was installed for quite summer. a while, it's also a function, and uh, uh, this uh, this address then, is 2050 uh, 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 West Ogden, the, and, and it's right at the intersection of Ogden and Damon, and, and they're planning in, uh, a 161 violence, uh, unit uh, residential uh, building, and it is definitely going to uh, benefit during, the, the during area, the um, you know, especially for the, the uh, medical workers, I do hear a chatter uh, about people not and, returning uh, the students that are all. In that area, they're getting, and then on top uh, of that, really close by, um, you, you have stimulus money like or, 
unemployment uh, money, a developer, um, and they also and, are planning um, about 700 units. I um, have to close proximity. So, uh, push um, back a lot on going that, on in the Illinois um, Medical District, and argument. Uh, it's definitely something um, to kind of keep our eye out for. One of the things I want to point out world. is that our awesome, Jason, yeah, economy was beginning to stall a bit to us prior all. to. Um, the from the community uh, uh, pandemic employing a lot and of people from the community. We actually had an uh, inverted uh, yield curve, probably. Um, I know north of a half a billion dollars from investment activity um, within, within May 2019, May 23rd, um, 2019, they, uh, all the way through managing, October 10th, 2019, with, with the exception of one day in really July. Appreciate you and what us. you'll notice that Kobe since 1990, Anytime so we've had an uh, inverted yield probably, curve, uh, within six or, months of that uh, uh, inverted yield curve, how, uh, um, the can here in 1990, it was 13 uh, months later, we had a recession. Uh, in 2000, uh, late 99, when we had it, eight months probably. later, we had uh, a recession, Kelly? and then when Kelly, we had an inverted uh, yield curve here in and tell us here, a little bit about and, some uh, investment opportunity, we had the recession begin. Sure, um, thanks, Tony. I do have later, an update on uh, and, uh, some investment 2000, opportunities that we have with the multifamily uh, investment 2008. advisors. So, um, uh, first that is, is a mixed use in building each one of these in Hyde Park at 5220 South Blackstone. Uh, happening this after, is a rare opportunity um, to acquire a 12 wealth preservation asset. Chicago it is a mixed-use property in downtown High Park. Week. It's uh, That's 40 units. Than we lost it has a strong long-term retail tenant, uh, including uh, Boston Market as a uh, long-term national tenant in that, in that uh, building. In, in, in um, so definitely decades. reach out to us for more information um, on that asset. Come out of a situation um, like next that, up, we also have a portfolio in 100-unit cap range. This is an opportunity to pick up 114 units on the Outside. Uh, it's a portfolio in a green and Chatham neighborhoods. Workers with 30 and there's a workers. low per unit price that employer of less than 60000 per unit. Go back and hire These employees are going to be able to pay for that employer. Um, These combined portfolios offer an opportunity for you to pick up a, a, a critical mass of assets with within a few miles really of each other with great cash flow from day one. Workers uh, for more are, information on um, these and other opportunities you know, that we have, a, please a, reach out to the multifamily investment advisors. Uh, it, I don't think at, it's been, uh, right? investment uh, at so I do want to point that out that we are, we are in a or tough by phone spot. at 312 we have to get through this uh, earlier. There's no uh, 8990. I will uh, no, uh, include the uh, contact information the who, in the chat in here. The Thanks chat. to you, Tony. They aren't to blame. Awesome. And, and also, you really can you put the, the website in there? Uh, you can the also find out more stimulus. information about our um, team. Our and, company uh, and uh, investment all in opportunities this all over uncharted city. territory. Uh, visiting we us haven't seen at, anything uh, like this uh, uh, as far Chicago as Chicago multifamily in our economy like this. Dot com or on Chicago multifamily and, uh, we're, we're com. trying to that work information this, will be this in the chat. Uh, the uh, uh, Blackstone property also together. has a state farm. So I just wanted to share, uh, there, share a couple of facts tenant, with Betty with us along uh, the multifamily market is strong. Uh, we are and, seeing uh, uh, increased uh, activity uh, a recent uh, in spite of uh, a lot so of lots of challenges, opportunity, a lot of outside uh, 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 that and here uh, uh, thanks for sharing that. that. When we go back and uh, hundred and fourteen years of the owners was over the end of period, we're finding out. With the awesome. combination of, uh, uh, of Chicago, uh, has some bad uh, press, uh, rental the assistance, weekend. there's a lot going uh, on. Hard work uh, as, as the and weather perseverance, turns. they um, have, there are some, for the uh, most part, been, alluded to, uh, some been able to, to persevere. Um, uh, and we the are, numbers uh, aren't, I believe, that much different rate than they would have been uh, among before. Uh, major uh, there are some, large some city, tenants that are having some tough times and haven't been able to city to make the payments. But for them, or um, making the payments a little bit slower. We are pursuing what we're finding uh, locally and nationally is that regards most of the tenants are doing the right thing. Um, and most of the landlords are doing the right thing. There's also been an uptick uh, nationally. But there are some uh, anomalies here there on both sides, side, which on a lot of times are the things uh, that people focus it's a function on of the summer but if you look at the it's also a function of 90% of uh, the pandemic uh, uh, doing getting through this research we're also we are seeing years ago some increase and they had a the fact that they're throwing around the high words a lot of uh, 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 suicide through the fed uh, during, during um, that time is another run. reason to invest in real estate uh, i do hear uh, a chatter real about people getting not turning to work inflation we are starting to see because they're getting that's one of the reasons we're starting to talk about 
gas stimulus prices, money or prices, unemployment like money as things um, and um, i have to that's what that is uh push um, back on that but um, i'm confident that we'll be argument able to it, whether that's um, one and, of the things uh, i want to the point out is that or our good economy uh, was beginning to stall a bit and some good prior good, to good places to invest the again uh, it's Monday pandemic. Uh, and, it's and new. we you actually find had a multi yield curve sharing information uh, about what's happening in the Chicago from, market as far as uh, commercial real estate. May 2019, Thank you. May 23rd, 2019, all the way through October 10th, 2019, right, with the exception um, of one day in July. And what you'll notice that since 1990, anytime we've had an inverted um, yield curve, with the uh, within six months of that okay. Okay. Uh, inverted um, yield curve, welcome uh, uh, everyone. Here uh, in 1990, it was 13 months later we had a recession. Uh, uh, in 2000, a, uh, uh, late 99, we Looks had like eight God, months we later, Allison we had a recession. The always and then good when to, we had an inverted yield you, curve. Allison. Here uh, we'll, and uh, uh, check in with you. We had the recession later again, on in the, in the uh, session. 18 months later, um, I want to uh, start in, off uh, with uh, Drew Heitzman, um, our uh, director 2008. of market so, analytics. Uh, that is, and uh, each us a one bit of these about gray, gray bars are a recession and, uh, uh, happening man. after. Appreciate it, Tony. Uh, and inverted. Would you be uh, able to pass me over the screen sharing capabilities? That's more jobs than we lost during the whole two year period of the economic downturn. That's more jobs than we lost in any two year period at any point prior to in, in, in over three decades. Um, and when you come out of a situation like that, it takes hey, time to build be that back go, and to fall back. Okay. Okay. Just because Appreciate everything it. is open up, everyone. an this employer is or restaurant speaking. or and business that lost terms of a lot of treasury, it's been uh, quite sales a week. during that period. Um, had to lay so off last Wednesday, the Fed workers. met to discuss that whether they will increase not gonna rates. And, go back and, um, and it turns out they continue to reiterate that inflation is predatory and they're not seeking to increase short term rates really until 2023. And this led to the 10 year increase in last Wednesday, uh, 11 basis points you know, from 1.48 to situation. a high of 1.5. Um, I don't five, think it's fair. Right. Nine, um, so I do want to point that out that up here. we but are we are in a side, tough spot. It uh, dropped another this, uh, 11 earlier. basis points and it's, and it's no, currently sitting at 1.47. Since no, then, uh, uh, the St. Louis people Fed people president people stated that he believes that interest rates will increase sooner rather than later really in 2022. And, and another thing to another interesting stimulus, caveat um, of that is and, uh, uh, investors we're, we're in the stock market together. have been uncharted territory. pushing money we into REITs and other real like estate this, related uh, as far as a slowdown as in our economy inflation. Like Ever on so record. it's and, been a lot of back and uh, forth we're, we're in terms of work, professional work traders and what the Fed's saying in terms of inflation. But right uh, now the rate is at a three month together. Month. So I just wanted to share share a couple facts oh. with with us. Uh, the multifamily market is strong. Uh, we are seeing something uh, increased activity and uh, in spite of forward. so I a appreciate lot of the that. challenges. A lot of uh, that and headwinds that we're facing. Awesome. When thanks go thanks back for sharing that. So it looks like ultimately the treasury at the end is at of a, the period, a three, three months low. Out with the combination uh, of, however, uh, the rent, fear, uh, uh, rent is to assistance, around the uh, I word. Hard work at some point there, and perseverance. Kinda, uh, they have, uh, connection got for bad, the most part, I got uh, just been got able to, thanks, to persevere. Sharing and that, the uh, numbers aren't Drew, that much uh, different Vince, than they would have uh, been director of acquisitions. Uh, uh, there are some, with a lot some tenants of, uh, that are having some tough times national and, and haven't been able to, to make the payments. Uh, the Chicago uh, market, or making the payments what, a little what bit slower. There, uh, and what Vince, we're finding uh, locally and nationally is that most of the tenants are doing thanks for tossing the ball to me there, Tony. We're seeing a lot of investors coming from coastal here areas very sides, interested in the chicago market just due to the sheer size of the metro on, area you look at the uh, you know features like 22 uh, fortune 500 companies through this owning their headquarters also, in the chicago msc uh, as well as 50 the fact over 50 percent of the population word, being rented uh, that actually uh, is a statistic that fan, chicago is um, unique in is with regards to the top 10 metro populated areas a lot of factors ensure that these renters won't be home buyers in the near future uh, for better or for worse those factors include 
gas you know, prices, student and debt, lumber prices, and, uh, and things, things like of that, that sort. So with those more, renters, that's, on average, spending less than twenty percent of their income. Um, on but rent, Chicago whether that features itself and, uh, as a top to destination for transient workers. Good, um, it's very competitive in regards to people seeking high-level employment and some good, that good, will good be renters. You know, invest. they want to have that mobility. Again, if it's Monday, so that makes uh, uh, Chicago noon, a top destination for investors. Investment advisors uh, business Insider rated Chicago as the top the Chicago market city as as uh, recently to purchase a rental property in. Thank you, and we look um, forward to seeing you next week. You know, we've been speaking with a lot of investors.